Okay. <laughs> Towns. When Margot Roth Spiegelman, I don't know how to say her name, beckons Quentin Jacobson in the middle of the night, dressed like a ninja and plotting an ingenuous campaign of revenge, he follows her. <laughs> Margot always planned extravagantly, and until now, she always planned solo. After a lifetime of loving Margot from afar. Things are finally looking up for Q. <coughs> Bless you. <laughs> Until day breaks and she's and she has vanished. Always an enigma. Margot has now become a mystery. But there are clues and they're for Q. Okay, my favorite part of that was uh always an enigma. Margot has now become a mystery. Enigma and mystery. <laughs> she, always a mystery. Margot has now become a mystery. Really? <laughs> the book I chose was called 13 Reasons Why. That's such a good book. I know! I love it. <laughs> okay. So what I found. Clay Jensen returns home from school to find a strange package with his name on it lying on his porch. Inside, he discovers several cassette tapes recorded by Hannah Baker, his classmate and crush, who committed suicide two weeks earlier. Hannah's voice tells him that there are 13 reasons why she decided to end her life. Clay is one of them. <laughs> if he listens, he'll find out why. Clay spends the night crisscrossing his town with Hannah as his guide. He becomes a first-hand witness to Hannah's pain and learns the truth about himself, the truth he never wanted to face. <laughs> Quench your dry season when moist shampoo rolls in. A moisturized feel of refreshment uh, will pour over your helpful hair. For a super quick clean, work through wet hair, then rinse away. Okay. <laughs> okay. For more than 50 years, Vital Sassoon's passion and professional expertise have been Defining fashion in hundreds of salons worldwide. <laughs> it's small. The Vital Sassoon brand has developed this expert range of care, styling, and color products so you can get the look you want. All you have to do is log on to vitalsassoon.com to watch step-by-step -step tutorials from our stylist so you know exactly how to achieve your fashionable salon transformation at home. Maddie's life. I was gonna say our friendship. <laughs> um, Mongolian barbecue! Yeah. We both had Mongolian barbecue and it was so good. And I had chips and a Hot Pocket. Yeah. I had candy right when I woke up. Because I was at Ashley's. Oh, I had M&M's. And then... I had an ice cream bar, and then I had some goldfish, <laughs> and then I had some more ice cream, <laughs> and then I had chips, and then I had Mongolian. Mongolian is the most amazing thing. If you like Hoo Hot better, you suck. Seriously, go to Mongolian barbecue if you like Hoo Hot. It's your the life, same thing. Your life will change. But it's better. The noodles are better. Please go. Please. 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 You get more. You get more too. And it's not as busy and disgusting in there. Yeah. Just go. Just do it. You won't even go back to Hugh Hot. You won't. You'll. Your life will be so different. We should get paid for this. <laughs> we should get free Mongolian barbecue for this. We still have leftovers. <laughs> Fucking birds. Burrs, okay, those, they're most disgusting, foul scum of this earth. They're flabby little wings and they just poop everywhere and they barf in their young's mouth and they're just disgusting and they scare me so badly. I can't even explain how much I hate them. 
If you know me, if you know me at all, you will know how much I hate birds. Like, anyone who's friends with me just knows. <laughs> P.S. Her name's Robin. <laughs> well, I have this weird fear of holes. Holes? Yeah, I can never it's remember like what in the it... ground? No, it's like- The movie holes? Shia <laughs> no. LaBeouf scares you? <laughs> I don't know, it just, I, it's like a fear of holes and unwanted places. Like, you know the lotus flower? No. Well, it's got a whole bunch of gross looking holes in it that look like it has bugs sticking out oh. of it. And it's disgusting, and like, caves with a whole bunch of holes and cracks in it just make me really uncomfortable. And it's some disease that starts with a T or something. It's a fear of holes and unwanted places. That makes sense. It just, some of the pictures just make me so uncomfortable. <laughs> and spiders. Yeah. We were at the park today and I was smelling a flower and as right as I about to smell it, there's a fucking huge ass clear spider in it. I was gonna die. Speaking of park, we took a photo shoot today. Go ahead and go look at those. Shameless, shameless self-promotion. <laughs> One, two, three, poop! <laughs> I, I wanted to say poop nizzle, but that's two words. And then I was yeah. gonna say black beat, but you <laughs> didn't go with black beat. I was gonna say black beat, but that's also kind of two. But it's one in our world. Yeah, we've never spelt it with a space. Or moose. Moose. Moose! Moose! But poop is. Poop nizzle. Poop nizzle. I say that without That's gonna... meaning to. Yeah. Me too. It's sad. It's just a reflection. Or reflection. <laughs> it's a reflection. What's it called? Reflex. Reflex. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be a dirty word. Maddie like. Weinbarger. I hate the word. I hate like the word. Like like slut and whore and those type of things, but that's like, you know, a given. I know which word I want to say, but Feminism. it makes me uncomfortable to say it. Whisper it in my ear. Or I could give you hints. Okay. <laughs> it's the another word for penis, but it starts with a C. Cock. Yes! Ugh. <laughs> Penis, dick, they, throbbing man, stick of love, they, they use, all work. They use... <laughs> I like the sound of Robin leaving. I'm not kidding. I hate, like, the sound of, like people scratching on a tent really yeah like oh. any tent or like binder or like you know yeah north face jackets i hate that so much it makes me uncomfortable i hate when like you're trying to cut a steak or something and you hit the plate and your knife goes and it's just like <laughs> you just feel your whole body like twitching my elbow just popped it hurt really that. bad <laughs> there's another noise you hate yeah, I can pop my own things, but no one else better pop theirs. <laughs> oh, fuck. Fuck. <laughs> hmm. Toilet cleaning. Plumber? <laughs> yeah, plumber. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't want to be... A door. <laughs> Heist of V2. <laughs> dig dog. Dog dig. Yo, diggy dog. <laughs> you want to hear him say that? Yeah. <laughs> There's no way you're getting into heaven. <laughs> He's not gonna say anything to you. It's just gonna be... What I'm gonna hear is... Welcome to hell. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
No. Not sing something at the same time. No. Mama, I'm in love with a criminal. <laughs> And this type of love isn't rational, it's physical. <laughs> Whoops, it's on vibrate. I didn't know that. Cause you never hear my phone ringing. Unless it's like 5 in the morning. That's my favorite part. <laughs> Alright. Um, well, I have different text tones for different people, but this one's just my default. Mine is... <laughs> Mine's old. <laughs> Mine is, which I never let go, ever, is oh, in, God. in sixth grade. Oh no. I hated Robin. <laughs> like, in our first and second period <laughs> classes, she would sit next to me and try to talk to me all period. <laughs> and then in fifth and sixth period, she purposely moved next to me so that she could talk to me again. <laughs> she forced the person who was sitting next to me to leave because she could choose where she wanted to sit. And she chose next to me. <laughs> And so finally I was like, fine, fine, here we are. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> well, that's my anecdote. I, um, wanted to make, <laughs> I didn't know anyone in the class, so I, like, looked to see who, like, didn't already know anyone. I'm like, oh, that girl looks, <laughs> she's alone. <laughs> I'll sit next to her. <laughs> <laughs> and here we are! Happy as can be. <laughs> okay. Mine is my little anecdote. Is one time I went to this little event called Warp Tour and I waited in line for like. 35 minutes, and then I got to the front, and there was all time low, and Jack Bearcat, he went like this. Okay, I'm Jack, and you're me. He's like this. And I cried! <laughs> it was the best day ever. Did you really cry? Like, after. I oh, was I was like, that's so sad. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, let's- let's ask Antonio. Okay, we both just watched that stupid Monsters vs. Aliens TV show. Yeah, and- <laughs> She was trying to, like, I don't know, break down the internet or something? Yeah, she was- The internet is like an actual guy and he looks like Shrek. <laughs> and she's like- <laughs> Hey, internet, 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 internet. Like, hey, internet, 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 internet. It was so ridiculous. So dumb. That show, like, all the monsters look exactly from the movie, and then the actual girl who was in it, Ginormica or something, she looks like a Jimmy Neutron type cartoon. It's like cartoon. They, they spent all their money on the monsters, and her, they're just like, eh. <laughs> uh, as long as Bob's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I saw Susie sitting in a shoe shine shop. Where she sits, she shines, and where she shines, she sits. Shits. 
Okay. I'll do... How many boards could the Mongols hoard if the Mongol hordes got bored? Boom. How, how much wood could a woodchuck chuck a woodchuck could chuck wood? Okay. Heist of V2. Heist of V2. Um, Donde esta el baño? Puta. Okay, the first one meant fuck you in Finnish. And the second one meant where's the bathroom in Spanish. The third one meant bitch in Spanish. <laughs> if you didn't know. <laughs> Heist to V2. Heist to V2. Wait, what? Mama, I'm in love with the criminal. 